What do you think should happen to somebody that did do that? I think they should stop for sure if they were. Yeah. Do you think they would do that? Do you think that's something that somebody would do as a kind of a sport? Do you think it's somebody that would be mentally deranged? Do you think they should be punished for it? Do you think, what, what do you think about somebody would do that? I think they would definitely possibly have some mental problems um, and would definitely need those looked into. Yeah. Um, so, well, I agree with that. Um, but when we got in touch with you, um, you, you said, and I, I actually wrote down the quote you said, um, I was actually shocked uh, after I talked to um, the producer uh, that I talked to on the phone and he explained what April's claims were that I've been posting. So this hits you out of the blue. Yes. You'd never heard anything about this at all. No. Until we rang your phone. Well, actually, I received the initial contact um, through Facebook message. From us? Yes. So I thought yeah. that it was a prank at first, yeah. but yes. You don't expect to hear from Dr. Phil, yeah. right? Um, but, but until you heard from us, you'd never heard anything about this? No. Well, what did you think? I was blown away, and like I said, I thought it was a prank at first, and then when I realized it wasn't, I was just like, why are mm -hmm. these people thinking this? Yeah. Um, and so what's your goal in being here today? I mean, you want to set the record straight, right? Well, of course. And I also sort of want answers on why she's thinking I'm doing this. Yeah. Um, what would be her possible motive for picking you? I don't know. Um, I think if she's thinking it's me, she genuinely thinks it's me. But I have no idea what her motive besides that would be. Because I don't see anyone accusing of someone something if they didn't think it was them. Yeah. But, I mean, you think maybe the kids look similar or something, but you don't, you're not, you don't have your children, so you no, don't. No, I don't. You don't have pictures of your kids and no. access to your kids and no. all of that. So you have no idea how your children are doing? Right now, no, I do not have any idea. Yeah. So you, having terminated your parental rights, you have no access to them at all, no information? about Not them, that's tough. gotta be tough as a mom. It is very tough. Yeah, yeah. Now, when, when you lost custody originally when you went to prison, what did you go for? Uttering a forged instrument and burglary. Yeah, burglary and a forged instrument. It wasn't a violent crime. No. Okay. Um, now, originally, before your rights were terminated, they were with your mother-in-law, right? Yes. Okay, for a period of time? Yes. Yeah. But she wasn't able to keep them? For whatever reason, no. Yeah. Would you have preferred they stayed with her? No. Oh, so that was okay? Yes. <laughs> I, I won't get into that. But <laughs> you were, it was okay with you that they went somewhere else? Yes. Yeah. Um, is, um, is, do you know of any reason that anybody would have told me that they know that you actually have pictures of their children? No. No reason anybody would have told me that. Not that I know, no. Yeah. Um, and if, if you have a chance to talk to April and Nathan, you just want to tell them what? Straight up, not happening. Well, that I haven't been doing it, and I'd like to know why they think that I have been. Okay. And you want them to quit saying that about you, of course. Of course. All right. Well, and you understand they're concerned and they have questions and you're willing to answer those questions. You got nothing to hide, right? Yes, I am very willing to answer any questions. Yeah, and that's why you came here today. Yes. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.